I'm proud of you, though. I am, because you, your is rolling. You moving, bitch. I was like, I felt like I was dead. Like, I couldn't do anything. Girl, this show must go on. OK. This stuff got to keep moving. I got these swimsuits that need to be modeled. Absolutely. Let's just keep this keep moving. moving. Absolutely, bitch. Turn up. Tammy called and told me she wanted to tell me about some drama, and I'm all ears. Imani's birthday party definitely has me feeling some type of way, and I can use some girls' talk. So what's going so, on? I had to um, pull up on Kalina the other day. What happened? Apparently, she went to have a conversation with Deb about her career, and she got really disrespectful. So I pulled up, and I'm like, I want to talk to you, you know, about the situation, what happened with my mother-in-law. Yeah. And she tried to turn up. What you mean, turn up? She was like, well, I've been on world tours. I'm like, when? She was like, what did he, bitch? Still, like, who cares? But your lights were cut off. You still don't have no furniture in your house. Right. Her lights is out, but she out in the streets talking about she was rolling with Diddy. Ex exactly. And her world tour. Exactly, when you were the ugly really? member of the group. OK. Oh, my god. <laughs> I have no sympathy for anyone who's disrespectful to my family members. And for the record, when you're struggling, you might want to humble yourself so that people who can help you might actually want to help you. So when we see her in the streets, is it like a turn we, up phase or we just? We don't with her. OK. Right. But anyway, what's up with you? Girl, yeah, it's just always something. Like Imani just had a birthday party. And I really felt uncomfortable and kind of like left out at the party. when. It's like, you know, I'm a part of her life just yeah. as much as everybody else, you know? And then I'm sitting in the back, like just that moment where a light bulb kind of went off. And I was just like, do I even want to be involved in this? Well, Scrap, he gave me a key to the house. And at this oh. point, I mean, it was cute, but I'm just like, it's just, it's just not enough. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know if I want to be tied into all of this forever. You know, it's just been two years of ups and downs and mamas and baby mamas. I didn't come here for that. I came here to, you know, advance in my career. And that's what I'm about to do. So, you know, I just jumped back into it a little bit. I just did a little video with this guy, Loudy. He's really supportive and he's kind of encouraging me to get back out there and okay. do what I need to do and for that's myself. that's a big part of it. So I understand Absolutely. that. He's done more for me at this point than Scrap has. For Bam to tell me that another man has done more for her than Scrap has done for her in two years, that's not good at all. That's a big problem. Scrap need to get it together. He's having like a, a viewing party for the video. I'm sneaking to the party, okay. but I'm not telling Scrap. He don't know about the video. He doesn't know about any of this right now. I'm just trying to take a breather and figure out where I'm gonna be. But where you gonna be is at the video release party. I'm gonna be there. At the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Because so, sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and you gotta show them who the hell you are sometimes. And, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. What's up, boo? How are you? party for the video that Bambi did with this cute little artist named Loudy. So I'm here to show my support and to see who's this dude that caught Bam's attention. But I also haven't seen Rashida since my little run-in with Kalina. So I brought her with me so we can do some catching up. So the Bam, she's starring in a video. So I just came to see the video, check it out. Yeah, everything's okay, going. Okay. They real close to <laughs> though. Hold up, Bam. Wait a minute. Her and Sammy still together, right? That situation, like if they're together, if they're not together, you know they're crazy as hell. Look at this bitch so over there. Yeah. I see Bambi over there looking real single. Scrappy's my homie, that's the fam. So I'm feeling a little uncomfortable, but I came out to kick it with Tammy to talk to her about this whole little Kalina situation. So Kalina, I was in the studio and I was like, let me call her. When she comes in and she felt some kind of way because she's like, you told Tammy, I'm trying to live in that big house and can't pay my bills like Steven Justin. I said, that's not I what I said. I never said that, you said that. When I see this bitch is doing any and everything to just, I guess because she's unhappy to disrupt everybody around her, I think you should know the type of snake bitches you have around you. Right. And that's why I need to put in my mouth and said something. Another one bites the dust, bitch. What's up, everybody? Appreciate everybody for coming out to the video release tonight. You know what I'm saying? I got my beautiful, wonderful leading lady with me, Bambi. She ready. Loudy storm Bambi, man. <laughs> I'm ready. 
she ready. I like the song. Ready. Ready. I like it. The chemistry is crazy. Bambi sure look like she ready. And honestly, I'm trying to figure out what the hell she ready for. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Bambi and Loudy, they have a lot of chemistry on screen. I just hope my girl don't risk her two-year relationship because she's feeling down and out right now. Really proud of this video. I've been sitting around not doing any work for two years. All everybody knows about me is that I'm Scrappy's girlfriend. So I did this to get back in the game. And getting to know Loudy, it's just a bonus. This is my friend Loudy. Hi. That was his video. Y'all just saw it. Love the song. Okay, hey. I'm gonna go get me a drink. Okay, boo. All right. Okay. So the dude, Loudy, is like on elf swag. So Bambi's damn sure looking like a giraffe, not a deer. Bitch, I thought we seen Scrappy walk up in here. We all was like, oh, like, oh, <laughs> I think he's gonna sit this one out. Now, I don't know what's going on between Bambi and Scrappy. Normally, they rolling together. So it just seems a little odd that Scrappy ain't in the building. I'm you know. curious to know what he's gonna say when he see that video. <laughs> I mean, but what can he say, though? For real, for real. He can say a lot. I didn't tell Scrap I was doing this video, and I don't think he needed to know. If he was trying to do anything to help me out of my career, he would have did something in all these years we've been together. He might be like, you know what, baby? I support you. <laughs> and what, like, really, though? I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> this kid dream, right? <laughs> yeah. You can dream. <laughs> but no. OK? So he going to turn up. It's going down. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here tonight on behalf of Black News Magazine, Tammy Rivera. Out. You know, sometimes people think that when you have a baby and you get married and you're a businesswoman that you can't get your sexy back. I just want to do something just to show that you can do it all. You can be superwoman. <laughs> baby, like the cover? Hell no. <laughs> you better stop playing. You better act like you like the same cover. <laughs> My wife is the best looking woman on planet Earth. She's wanting to show that a mother and a married woman can still be sexy, so I applaud that. It's my wife, man, like, she popping. And you congratulations. Thank you, mama. On behalf of me and my sister mother-in-law. Oh, my God. my mom. Okay. Well, I am so freaking proud of you. But what I don't want is fighting. Tammy, you know you're too classy, too flabu to be running around here scrapping around with some hood rats. You know, and I know, that Walker ain't got a hateful bone in his body. But we ain't homophobic around here. I raised them better than that. So long. I'm gonna fill you in. Remember we was at the fashion show and I met Dee Smith and I told you I wanted to work with her, so I had dinner with her to invite her to the black man, you know, revealing for the cover. She had a friend with her, like her best friend, I guess. Mm. Some girl named Betty Idol. Wait, what? I knew Tammy had a fight with Dee's friend, but I didn't know her name. Betty Delusional Idol is a girl that Scrappy put on his Snapchat and his Instagram. Now she fighting my best friend? Okay. The little airhead bitch was on Scrap's page, on his Instagram oh, page, okay. so I'll shut it down. Scrappy and I only recently broke up, so for him to flaunt this girl on social media is so not cool. I told him to take it down. Until I'm ready and I've completely moved on, he's gonna do what I say. Then maybe that's where the hostility came from. Maybe it is. From yeah. So after I kept trying to be positive and yeah, change the conversation, down, she got very disrespectful. And at that point, I end up punching her on her face. Let me ask you this. Are you still interested in working with D. Smith? At this point, I don't think I want to. If it was my yeah, friend yeah. sitting maybe. there, I wouldn't have let that go down. And then on top of that, I invited her, and she didn't come. So I'm guessing she knows she's wrong. Oh, she knows what time it is. Yeah. She did not roll up in this. Party. The night is almost over, and of course, Dee didn't show up. I guess this Betty chick was coming for me because she's jealous of Bambi. But what I don't understand is, why would Dee Smith allow such a thing to go down? We didn't need that door to explore Bob energy at the party anyway. <laughs> she is crazy. You good? Bitch, no, I am <laughs> not good. I'm nervous. My um private is sweating. <laughs> Bambi and Scrappy had a bad breakup. Once Bambi found out that Scrappy was, you know, strolling around town or even having conversation with this Betty chick, I think she was over it. And she went and got her dog, gave her promise ring back, and she's ready to move on. So I'm doing what best friends do and setting my girl up on a blind date. Just loosen up. You're already on your third drink, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple
couple shots to loosen up. I haven't dated anybody other than Scrappy in the past two years. Even though me and Scrappy been broke up for a minute, a part of me always thought that we might get back together. But after this whole Betty wanna be idol situation, I'm just so ready to move on and do me. I've been on tour, sold out shows. It's nothing like coming back to the A and chilling with my little lady, man. Tammy hooked my best friend up and her best friend up. I knew Chas for like nine years. That's a brother to me. It possibly could work. Look who we got here. <laughs> hey, hey, this Chaz. Hey, this is How you doing? Hi. How are you? This is Chaz. He's cute. He's just not as tall as I was hoping my next guy would be. He looks like Jesus. <laughs> I guess you look like the Virgin Mary. Ooh. Ooh. Are you guys ready to do it? I already know what I want, though. What is it? Chicken and waffles. Oh, and that's what you just ordered? I did order chicken and waffles. See? I think we're off to a good start, but you never know what a guy is hiding. So I'm gonna ask everything I need to ask. And if he can't make it through the interrogation process, then Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. When the last time you was on a date? I really never really been on dates like that. So you just slide up in the thing and just, that just be it? <laughs> I know you have kids, I asked Tammy. So how do you have kids and you've never been on a date? I was young and wild. They were accidents, but blessings. Blessings in disguise. What about the baby mamas, are they? She's been having prior baby mama issues. Pass and pass. I dealt with you one to... guy with one baby mama and she still wanted to and she's lucky I liked her daughter because That's I would have popped her ass in the mouth long The time dude ago. don't know how to handle that. Like, I'm gonna introduce you the right way so y'all won't have that issue. Oh, I like him. Bammy had a couple of rough few months. I'm happy she kind of vibing with Chaz right now. What women don't like real We got superpowers, man. You must be nervous for him. For what? What you mean for what? Walking the park. So you want to take a walk in the park with me? I might walk in the so park you with you. In the park. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing some stuff on the blogs about Tammy and Waka, but a rule in our friendship is that we don't listen to blogs. So even though Tammy and Waka have had their issues in the past, I'm going to check up on her and just to find out if what I'm hearing is true. Just some little shimmers. You always bringing me good stuff. Oh, what are you doing? Such a good friend. Don't make me cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Tammy and Walker have been through a lot in their relationship, but they always seem to overcome it and get back together. And Tammy is really strong and independent and she's super private, but I just want her to know that if she's ready to talk, I'm here to listen. What's been going on though? I've just been chilling, girl. I've been taking a break from these uh, these guys. <laughs> <It's very Yes. laughs> I've been trying to do my own thing. I guess that's where, you know, that's where it leaves me. Huh? These guys. These guys. Well, my husband. Okay, bitch. What? He just can't seem to get it right. Right. He, you know, just struggling with being a good husband. Yeah. Like right now, you've ever been with someone, and then at a point in your relationship, you kind of don't even know where their headspace at. Yeah. Like, you, it's like you don't know that person. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who he is. I like, know. And he knows what he's doing wrong, and he always just be like, I don't want to hurt you no more. And he wants to be here, and he wants to do right, but there's certain things, me as a woman, I'm not going to accept. Right. He's on the road. I already know that there's, I know for a fact that he's not faithful. I don't know. Me and Waka, we dealing with some real behind closed doors. I'm just looking for a husband to do right by me the way I do by him. That's all. I just know my worth and I know what I deserve. Oh, he, he's gonna have to agree to go to counseling though, like for real. I don't even think that's not even something that he's thinking about. So like, I don't just... The only thing he says is like, I don't wanna fail you, like I'm sorry, but... Would you feel like the next step is gonna be? At this point, I really don't know. I just know I can't keep staying here. Like, I have this gigantic ass house and don't mean nothing if my house ain't happy, if I'm not getting what I feel like I deserve. Right. At the end of the day, like, you've been holding your down for the longest. You gotta do what's best for yourself and keep moving. And as hurt as you are, 
you know, you gotta, I mean, you started with your, your swimwear for this summer and you gotta keep that rolling because I know how it can be to be in a place where you are right now. You just want to shut down. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep on, but it's a lot. Have you talked to Deb at all about what's going on? She just be wanting to smack the out of him. But, yeah, you know, of course, yeah. he's a good grown man, so she can't whoop him and <laughs> put him on punishment. So she just, <laughs> she should. Right. She whoop his ass. But she just pretty much says the same thing. You are a mother, you a businesswoman. She was like, and you gotta keep it pushing. You know, I got your back. I don't know, you always have my back. You gonna be good. You gonna get through this. <laughs> Cheers, bitch. Lucy <laughs> Rivera. It's showing enough, and I think we need to probably bring this up a few inches. So Waco's on the road as usual, and I've been sitting and doing some soul searching, and I think it's time for me to make some changes in my life. One thing I have to do is throw myself into my work. Everyone else put their career first. It's time for me to put my career first. I'm throwing a beautiful fashion show for T. Rivera Swimwear, and my girl Bambi's gonna be strutting the runway. Oh, a lot of working going on in here. Hey, baby. How you doing? Bambi's been like my rock during this whole situation because she can understand how it feels or what I'm gonna face going through a public breakup. So I asked for Bambi to stop by so that I can have a conversation with her and tell her what I've been thinking so long and hard about. So how everything coming along for the show? Everything's good? It's hectic, it's a lot, but yeah. I found some good models, but it's a lot. Especially yeah. considering everything else you got going on personally. You know it's up and down. Of course Sometimes it is. Sometimes I'm like, like, oh, you know, bitch, because I be sexy. I you know. You know, I love that man with all my heart. I love I him to do. death. I, I know you do. Death. But I came to like the conclusion that, um, you know, when we came to the conclusion that we're um, we're separating. Bitch, no, really? Yeah. Deciding to separate from my husband is one of the most difficult decisions I had to make. But Walker and I talked about it. And I think it's for the best. I think we need some time apart. I mean, you know, some time to appreciate each other and to try to figure out why did we get married in the first place? It's not like we're divorcing no, just yet, just... or hopefully not, but he got a lot of growing to do. I'm right here by you. I got your back. I can't believe Tammy and Waka are separating, especially because I know Tammy still loves Waka. But when you've given all you can and a man still can't do right by you, the best thing to do is probably move on. I'm gonna need you to help me move. I can't be in that house no more, Bambi. Oh my gosh, are you sure? I'm so depressed in there. It reminds me of everything that we were building towards. So I found a beautiful townhouse. And then Charlie, she asked me like, mommy, we moving. She like, is Waka coming? And I'm like, no, not this time. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Right. This breakup is not just about me and Waka. We're also breaking up our family. Charlie does not know why Waka's not moving with us. And I know for a fact Deb is struggling with this situation too. Normally, Deb is the first person I call when I need a shoulder to cry on. But I just don't have no more tears left to cry. As a woman, sometimes we have to make decisions on our own to figure out what we need to do for ourselves. And right now, I need to stay strong, I need to focus, and of course I still invited my mother-in-law to my fashion show. I just hope that I can keep it together when I see her. I'm proud of you though, I am, cause you, your is rolling. You moving, bitch. I was like, I felt like I was dead. Like I couldn't do anything. Girl, this show must go on. Okay. This stuff gotta keep moving. I got these swimsuits that need to be modeled. Absolutely. Let's just keep this keep it moving. moving. Absolutely, bitch, turn up. Tonight, I am showing my new swimwear line. I've never had such a big night with at least Waka or Deb around to support me. I mean, but with this separation, I know that things can't be the same. Man, the Bachelor Life, it was cool for a minute. All the parties, all the beautiful women, but I just came to a realization that the Bachelor Life ain't for me. And Mom Duke, trying to play her matchmaker, trying to hook me up with Betty, really made me realize that I only want one person, and that's the Bam. Come on, Bam. Let's go, Bam. And of course we have our problems, but I'm here today to see if my girl will give us a second chance. And hopefully, she won't shut your boy down before I say what I got to say. 
come here tonight. I kind of feel out of place, but Walker gave me a call and said, Ma, you got to show up and support Tammy. With all this drama that's going on with Walker and Tammy, we really haven't been seeing each other as much, but me and Tammy have to have a one-on-one. -on -one. I really need to talk to my daughter right now. I have no idea when Dev snuck in that door, but I am so relieved and happy to see her. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Baka, Deb, Charlie, we're always gonna be family. Tammy killed it tonight, but I know she wishes Waka was here, but she got me and the rest of her friends, and we're gonna make sure she gets through all this mess. It was, I mean, super chilling. Where's Waka? You know, we separated. Yeah, we took some time. Really? What can I say? Are you all right? I'm OK. I mean, I, I don't have time to not be. Right. I got so much going on, like, right. and I could not dwell on it. Yes, I do miss his presence. Right, of course. But. Thank you. Oh, no, that's oh. something to do, baby. Jimmy. Oh, I know it's tough, though. I know it's tough, girl. Marriage is tough, relationships is tough. All of it is tough, Tammy, I know. I am so sad to hear about Waka and Tammy being separated. For her to be going through that, I can totally relate. Kirk and I have had our ups and downs. We all know this. It's tough, I know it's tough. I know there's nothing I can really say to make her feel better, but just give her and show her support and just pray for her. You just had an amazing show. She look pretty, don't make your mascara yeah, run. Okay, okay Ryan, <laughs> you had an amazing show and you have a lot more coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> Strappy come backstage with these damn roses. <laughs> we could just split it apart. Right. Somebody needs something to make us smile at this moment. It's for the Bam <laughs> Now, Bambi always talking about Scrit and I, you don't support her. So when I heard she was walking in Tammy Fashion Show, I said, hmm, I'm gonna support the Bam. Oh. Oh. Now, this the woman that done been beside me through everything. I mean, we done got on each other's nerves, broke up because we needed a break, but now I'm here to claim what's mine. I'm finna get my old lady back. So Scrap stopped blowing up my phone a few weeks ago. I just assumed he met somebody. So when I see him here tonight, I'm a little excited. You know what I'm saying? I broke it off with Chaz. Scrap still has this little shimmer on me a little bit. So I'm happy to see him. Did you hear some running around town with somebody else? I heard the same thing about you. I ain't got nobody else, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, just been missing my boo. I ain't gonna lie, I do miss Scrap, but I'm not gonna fall for his little cute ass little puppy dog face. I was going out with somebody, but it didn't work out for me. Well, me being alone by myself didn't work out for me neither. So you brought some flowers? I just wanted to see if we can rekindle some things, you know what I'm saying? OK, Scrap, like seriously. I'm saying you're like a, a, a floating goddess walking down the runway. And I was just like, wow, like that's what I miss. I'm going to be floating down the some moon. other And it's going to be an aisle. And it's not going to be a runway. So I don't know if it's going to be with you or with somebody else. I, I feel like you play a lot of games. Like, you come in here with some flowers and think everything is supposed to be cool, and it's not cool. Well, I ain't trying to look cool. I'm just trying to tell you I love you. OK. You know, you know, obviously, like, I do care about you. I do love you and all that. But you need to be really clear and specific. This is not the answer, OK? No, 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 no. We are the answer. OK. Well, thank Man, you for coming. I believe them when I see it. I know Bam is looking for more than I was able to give last time, but I think now I'm ready to do big moves, you know what I'm saying? No, make them plays, you know what I'm saying? Show and prove, let her know what's real. I know. Why are you looking so weird? But they over there, they over there looking like <laughs> oh, <laughs> Are we celebrating without me? Well, I'm really happy I showed up tonight. Tammy really did it. I'm even more impressed to see how Tammy has grown into a force to be reckoned with. Tammy, I'm so proud of you. I love you, boo. Come here, I want to talk to you a little bit. I love Deb to death, 
and I've been avoiding this conversation with her. But it's time I let her know what my plans are for me and Charlie's future. And after day or day today. Yeah, well, I don't want to make it worse. But you know, I'm in the process of moving out. Just, it just feels weird being in the house without my family. This has been a major strain. Even me and him, we've been back and forth to today. He texts me, like, upset because I wasn't going to come. You need to go to Tammy's swimsuit thing tonight, Mom. Mm. I said, well, Walker, you should go to <laughs> He said, I'm not there. Be the bigger person, Mom. You the real OG. And he's made sure that he hit back. Dad should go down to make sure that I came in. That's good. But I'm going to come in here to represent hey. anyway. It doesn't matter what's going on. We're family, period. Nothing and nobody could ever change that. Like, that's that y'all have to, to deal with. And I'm not really ready to hear all of the I'm not really here. You moving out the house and you doing all these other kind of things. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not ready for this. I'm just really not. Like, I'm really not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? But at least she heard me out. It seemed like she wanted me to do more or say more. Now, I don't know what Bam want. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I thought, you know what I'm saying? I go holler at somebody that really know Bam and, you know, can handle and understand all that girly stuff. Tammy, Tammy, cuz. I think all of us were surprised when Scrappy popped up at the fashion show. But I know damn well Bambi was happy to see him, whether she wanted to admit it or not. Deep down, Bambi loves her some Scrappy. And if it's anything I can do as a friend to get them back on the same track, I'm all with it. Just because I'm going through this separation with Walker doesn't mean that I don't love some real romance. Yeah, I like your little, you know what I'm saying, fashion show, you know what I'm saying? I was shocked to see you there. And you walked in in like a crazy. Yeah, I was looking, I was like, <laughs> about to cry. Like, I'm currently going through a separation with Walker. So I'm actually in the process of moving out. I know, right? It's just, as a woman, I refuse to allow certain things. As I think Bambi is, we just, like, we we know our words. It's hard. I mean, you gotta, you, you gotta look at it like this. Like, as a man, like, we flaw like hell. Y'all got some real strength. And y'all keep hurting us. You can't still have your cake and eat it, too. You have to say, this is my wife, so this is what I'm gonna do. It's hard. Check game, right? I'm at your fashion show. I'm talking to Bam. She over there saying, like, you need to step up. The roses ain't nothing like I'm, that. But think about it, Scrap. You left her in a f***ed up situation, Scrap, and you was running around town dating everybody else. I was not dating. Well, you was texting and conversating. Me and Bam weren't even together. I mean, I know, because Bam went on her date. See? That you, <laughs> you put together. No. Like, what is that, Tana? Well, let me ask you this. When you was on those conversation trips, did it make you appreciate Bambi more? It made me miss her more. Can you see your life with her? Or without her. I don't even know how to get through it without her. So what I mean, what do you what do you wanna do to fix it? I got an idea. You do? I got an idea. What's your idea? I'm thinking of like buying a connecting necklace or something, you feel me? A connecting necklace? Yes, yeah, like a along with the promise ring strap? No, no, no. With Jilly? No. You might as well hang the necklace around Julie neck. You have to do more. If that's your woman, if that's what you want, if you want to spend the rest of your life with her, then you need to show her the foundation. Keyword, foundation. I feel sturdy right here, right? Mm -hmm. It ain't breaking. Ain't no going nowhere. No, we can sit on this bitch, both of us. Lift up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what she need. Foundation. <clears throat> a last I get name. lost with the last name? Yes, a last name. That's your wife. Yeah. I can't do it. You can't do it? 
do wife? Wife scares you? Uh, no, it don't scare me. How about being lonely for the rest of your life and looking for her and other women that you're never gonna find? Look at me. You're gonna lose her unless you step up, Trap. Like, it's hard, as you know, to find that one person that's gonna be there to think and that, think. That's one thing I can say about Bam. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was going through my little jail, rehab thing. I ain't had no confidence. She gave me that confidence. She rolled with me. It's love, right? Now, see, I knew Tammy would help me make sense of it all. After hollering at the fellas, getting a load of ear from Hall Dukes, you know what I'm saying? All roads still lead to the Bam. Now, see, I don't let my lady get away from me one too many times, y'all. What I'm gonna do is try to start appreciating all that beautifulness I got in front of me before it's too late. When you love, you love unselfishly. You want them to be happy, whether it's with you or without you. Now, if you can bring her to happiness, then step up and do it. If you can't, then let her go. Why am I here? They say, hey, you want me to step it up? I call it stepping it up. You feel me? Yes. It's a wide open space. Oh. Got the waterfall right here. You can have a stage, you know what I'm saying? You can be up here rapping and stuff. Bam, been tripping on me for years, y'all. You know what I'm saying? About not putting her on. That's why she got mad and took the dog back when she found out I was messing with Betty Idol. But now I'm finna show I can step it all the way up. You feel me? And then we can sit right here in the middle and we can just dance. I thought it was gonna be a stage right here. No. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was kinda cute that he had this big vision for me performing and all this. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but he needs to really wow me so I can really believe that he's gonna be committed to this relationship. Hey. Hi. How are you guys? Yeah, how are you doing? Scrappy has made some grand master plan to win Bambi back, and he wants me and Kirk to be a part of it. So all we can say is, what you need us to do, Scrap, we're here this time. Mama D's here too. Ernest is here. After I gave Ernest that one dollar bill, he didn't pack his bags. It really means a lot to me. Me and Ernest marriage is on the men's for right now. We're gonna work things out just between the two of us. After all, it was the two of us to say it. I do. I don't know what you're up to, but I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hey! What the f is Tammy doing? <laughs> just because my love life isn't going according to plan doesn't mean I've given up on love. Mom, dudes in the house. Mama. <laughs> Loving you, boo-boo. Now, I can't really see my life without Bam, you know what I'm saying? I done invited some friends and some fam from hers and mine to let everybody know and her know that I love the Bam. Do y'all know why y'all here? No. You know, she say I don't support her. She say I'm selfish. This is to show them that I really, really love you. To show them. I just want to just tell her in front of y'all that I love her, Aww. you feel me? Can I do it more? Can, is, 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 can, do you give me permission to do this? Cause I'm oh, trying to do it. Sure. I'm trying to do it. You have my blessing. Okay. Bam. You marry me? Well, will you then? Don't marry me, what's happening? have both been begging me to go on this date. Now I finally decided to go, but I'm scared because it's like taking a step into letting him back into my life, and I don't know if I want to do that. Tammy, girl, where you at? Right here. Bambi's going through her own things right now with Scrappy. When things get tough, you just need that good friend to vent to. I was here looking for an outfit. For? A date. A date? Waka has gotten Charlie here. Oh my And got Charlie to come and talk to me. I'm just going for the food. How you feeling about it, though? I just don't feel like he's taking this, you know, separation serious. I'm trying my best to not be as evil and mean to him, but it's so hard. I know it is, because you're still hurt. Yes, and it's like, I don't know if I can trust him, and I don't want to open back up and let him hurt me again. Like, I'd rather just put up this brick wall against him until I feel like I can trust him. Part of me wants him to feel how I felt so that he'll never do it again. 
Scrappy and I didn't even make it down the aisle, so I can only imagine what Tammy feels like, and she took her vows, and she's going through all this. I look at Walker and Tammy like they're the ideal couple. They're my inspiration, so I feel like Scrap and I definitely made the right decision by calling the wedding off. We're just not ready. So what's going on with you, girl? Everything is going on with me. Scrap, you know he's real selfish, irresponsible, all that shit. So when the last time you spoke to him? We were in a counseling session with his dad and his stepmom. But I just feel like I'm always outnumbered when it comes to him. You know what I'm saying? He's always bringing all his people to like gang up on me. At the end of the day, like, you know, we're not getting married. Like, the wedding is off. Aww. And, you know, the only re thing that makes me really upset is that, you know, I had my whole entire life, like, going. I didn't have to move over here in this big ass house and, and do all that. I was fine where I was. I can't even say that I'm surprised by how things ended up with Scrap and I. Our relationship was rocky from the jump, but the finality of it really hurts and it's starting to kick in that I'm really on my own. This is not easy. You need to get back to Bambi, like what you've been doing. You were a made woman before Scrappy. You need to be on the scene, start networking, moving the old Bam. You're right, you, you know, know, just being in the house has not been it's it. Not when Walker and I first broke up, I had to fight the urge to sit home and just let the heartbreak take over. I had to direct my attention to my daughter and my work. I don't know how this date's gonna go, but I do know that I'm a stronger woman today. And Bambi needs to start her healing process by remembering who the hell she was before Scrappy. We gotta get out here and need to land the street. All right. Well, thank you, for real, because I need we that. Love I love you baby. too, boo. <laughs> The reason we're here is we're going to leave some of our issues, problems, insecurities, whatever it is, we're going to leave it here tonight in this fire. Bambi just found out that Scrap is moving to Miami, and even though she tried to act like it doesn't bother her, I know that that still hurts. Carly has a whole lot going on right now. Rashida is going through it. Mimi's trying to figure out or wrap her head around the fact that Eva has a new baby sister. And I don't know what the hell is going on with me and my husband. So I felt as though there's some type of way that we all could get together and leave our pain and hurt behind, then maybe we can do that. So I decided we should throw a bonfire. Everyone, this is Sierra. Hello, hi y'all. Yeah. Sierra's a boss just like us. She owns uh, the glam right. shop, but you know her own. I've been there a few times. I yeah. know you I'm glad to be here tonight. I brought Sierra tonight to remind her that she is not alone. We've all been going through stuff with our men. I've been going through stuff with Jock, but it does not compare what Rashida's going through with Kirk. It don't compare what Sierra's going through with her husband. I still haven't decided whether or not I should sit down with Jocelyn. But tonight, I'm here with girls that I know care about me. You all don't know, but I recently found out that my husband had an affair with my assistant. Oh. oh so the bitch that I found out that he was sleeping <laughs> with, that this bitch wore the worst <laughs> lace frontals oh. ever. <laughs> I'm going to burn this Yeah. Yes, I'm let you yes. know you let let that bitch go, that raggy ass weave. Yes, bitch. Damn. Anybody want to go next? Thank y'all. I don't want to go next. I don't want to go at all. I'll be drinking my troubles away. Honestly, this is what I've been doing every night. Don't do that, you Carly. Stop that, Carly. Because that's not going to do nothing. I'm just like, I'm being okay. fun. I'm having a vulnerable moment, and right. I'm just telling y'all, guys, in order for me to go to sleep, I got to have like at least four or five shots. I am tired of being home by myself. I'm tired of picking the wrong man. The first six months is good. And then come to find out this man is either married, cheating. And this is the reason why I'm scared to get married. When people do come with proposals, like Benzino, like life, giving me the fake ass ring. That was some crazy People blame me. They do. They say, oh, it's Carly that can't find a man. Not the fact that life was secretly married to right. another woman the whole time he was with me. I kept this box of this ring that life gave me. It symbolizes that all my relationships Let it have go. been. Let that go. Yes, let that go, Carly. 
I'm ready to get some shit off my hands. That you get it out, bitch. Since I've been with Scrap, right, I've grown, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've become more mature, and I feel like he really isn't growing at my same pace. And I've just been put in a box with him. Everybody know about this life we live, like dating an entertainer, and it looks all pretty and nice on the outside, but when you open the shit up, there's nothing in there. It's okay, empty, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's how I'm feeling right now, just very empty. empty. This is the shirt that I had on when I ran into Nico again. This is when the bull started this tape, which I co-starred in. I have a three-year-old. I have a daughter. It still haunts me. I still think about it at night when I'm alone. I still think about it when I'm at the park with my daughter. Like, I'm going to have to address this at some point. With that being said, I'm going to burn this shit. this first okay. oh yes this second that's my ashes book. to ashes yes. Yes. okay so i don't know if you guys remember kirk and i had some previous problems and he had an i'm sorry party at this party he gave me a diamond heart necklace Even though we joke and we laugh and all that type of stuff, you know, it's a, I go home and I cry, you know, and I be hurt and I be upset and I be mad and I be angry about so many different things. And at the end of the day, I just want it to stop. Do I feel like I'm going to get past the situation? Yes, I am. How long it takes? That I don't know the answer to, but I know that God got me and whatever's meant for me, for my family, is gonna be meant. This right here is a journal of everything I went through with my husband. This has nothing to do with Walker. This journal has all to do with Tammy. The things that I felt like I wasn't good enough for. For years, my own husband didn't even know that I had a voice. I kind of hid in his shadow. But I found my voice today. Okay. Oh, yes. And I will be singing yes. from now on. You better listen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in the fire. Well, we don't let it all go. And we need to have like some type of tr girls trip, like something that we can. Girl, I'm telling you right now, if we have a girls trip. I'm taking off my clothes and I'm running down in the hotel room. I ain't going. Naked. Naked. Bitch, you going. Not if she run around naked. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.